Oh, hello. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie Milky, and I want to have a quick conversation with you, more of a check-in, give you some ideas. We're going to talk about dinner and this macro conversation because I get a lot of questions about macros and the end of the day. So as you're tuning in, tell me where you're tuning in from. I'm going to give you some dinner ideas. Actually, I need you to contribute and give me some dinner ideas. So as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? And actually, I want to use this right now as an accountability. So tell me real quick. Did you work out today? How is your day going? Did you intermittent fast? Did you eat breakfast? Like, how is your day going? How has it gone? Morning? Did you choose a, a good option for lunch? What is on your menu? What is in your crock pot? What are you making for dinner? We have a roast in our crock pot. We have the greats coming over, great grandma and grandpa. Uh, and we're gonna have a great dinner with them. And we have a free event that a ton of you are watching called Keto Academy tonight. So Keto Academy, we watched it last night. The event is free. And you get to tune in and watch some science and research about our company, about our products, about ketones, keto. Uh, anything in the keto space. So if you're watching that, just remember to tune in here, I think in an hour. It's going to be incredible. So did you work out today? Yes or no? Give me like a big muscle if you worked out today. If you didn't, it's okay. Are you going to work out later? My family and I went to CrossFit this afternoon. It was actually really hard. My legs are still wobbly. We did like 150 wall balls. I actually don't know how many, but so many. So Today's CrossFit went great. I shared a fun reel about some little pizza bites that we made, and we're having a dinner conversation. So good job for those of you who've worked out. I love it. Did you intermittent fast this morning? If you're following along, we're doing a really cool five-day intermittent fasting program to where we're helping people understand the power of intermittent fasting, the power of ketones, utilizing some tools. We have an accountability group. If you want to start intermittent fasting, if you want help with just the process of getting started, first of all, I would challenge you to Google intermittent fasting, incredible benefits. Number two, post fasting in the comments and I'll chat with you about some options to get you started. Uh, and I would just say, just start and I will help you. So whatever questions you have, you can send me a message or just post your questions in the comments. Um, all right, dinner ideas. I think it's probably the number one question I get is I need some new ideas for food and a couple things I like to say about dinner is number one, whether you're eating at home or you're eating out or you're eating in the car because you have a ton of different places you have to be. How many of you are taking your kids from point A to point B to practice to Wednesday night church or whatever you've got going on? So sometimes dinner can be crazy. I would say this, make sure you plan your meals one time a week. So like on Sundays, plan write it down, go to the grocery store, have everything ready so that you get to a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday night and you're not overwhelmed and you aren't not prepared. And then all of a sudden you have to go to the grocery store or you have to run to the, this is where most people run through the fast food because they didn't make any plans. So we use our crock pot a lot. I love it. I've got meatballs and a roast uh, in the kitchen waiting for us to eat when grandma and grandpa get here. So I wanna ask you for some ideas. I really wanna know what are you having to eat? What is in your crock pot? What's on your menu for tonight? Because as people scroll through, I want them to get ideas from you. So I love to say things like, usually we have tacos on Tuesday. We have chicken tacos or beef tacos, right? In the spring, summer, and fall, we love to grill. If you're down south, you still get to grill. If you're up north like me and you have feet of snow, we usually don't use our grill. But any type of meat and veggie, meat and protein, I love to make like anything simple in our crock pot, chili, anything. And listen, there is no shortage of any low carb keto recipes because whether you go to ketomomsecrets.com and we have hundreds of recipes, ketomomsecrets.com, you can Google low carb keto dinners. You can go to Pinterest and type in low carb keto dinners. Some of you are like, I can't have any dairy. And I go, great. Go to Pinterest and type in dairy free keto meals. You guys, the information, the amount of knowledge, the amount of just things that you have at your fingertips is endless. You just have to do a little bit of planning and a little bit of like figuring out what you want to make. I like to say, keep it simple as simple as possible. Protein in a veggie, protein in a salad, drink your water, uh, and don't over don't overstress. Don't overthink it. So last night we got home from CrossFit. 
I didn't actually have something planned in our crock pot, but I was like, perfect. We have, we always have eggs usually, although we don't really need to talk about the price of eggs. Find a local farmer and grab eggs that way, because let me tell you, our grocery store, actually this kind of would be fun. Wherever you're tuning in from, you should tell me below how much are eggs at your grocery store? Do you guys remember when eggs used to be 99 cents? And I'm not talking about the organic eggs. Like I know there's better eggs than not good eggs, but I was at the grocery store the other day, 9.99 for a dozen eggs. We are thankful that we've got some people to buy them locally from, but 9.99. Tell me what your eggs are costing. All right, I see people posting. $10 in general. We usually have eggs in our refrigerator. I love to make protein and waffles. We had a couple little steaks that were unthawed, so we just threw together like a breakfast for dinner. So make sure at least in your freezer or your fridge throughout the week you have a go-to meal or a couple meals that you can go ahead and grab if you didn't make a plan. But I wanted to just simply come on here and go, what are you having for dinner? Give other people ideas. So we love chili, we love tacos, any type of protein, anything I can throw in a, anything I can throw in a crock pot or breakfast for dinner is usually what we're gonna do. Also, and this is huge, right? If you get to the end of your day and if you're doing keto, like the ketogenic diet, if you're tracking all of your food, not if you're low carb because you're not doing this, not if you're dirty keto or lazy keto, whatever you like to say, for those who are tracking their food, because I get this question also, a lot of you will message me and you'll go, all right, I'm at the end of my day. I still have this amount of protein or this amount of fat, or I still have this amount of calories that I can eat. I'm tracking all of my food. What should I eat? And I'm gonna say the number one challenge, the number one problem, the, another, the number one I feel like mess up when somebody is working on losing fat, getting healthy, getting stronger, like working on their health. The greatest opportunity. Your greatest opportunity your greatest opportunity to learn from is to realize that number one, you do not have to fill in your macros. What does that mean? Do not get to the end of the day if you're tracking your food and eat just to eat. So I could say for those of you who are simply like, if you're making better choices and you're not actually physically tracking your food, I'm going to say, do not eat just to eat. The amount of people that are snacking every couple hours because the food is in front of them and it's at their office, it's in their desk drawer, it's on the countertops, or you get to the end of the day and you're like, I have to eat the rest of my protein. No, you don't. Your body will tell you when you're hungry, and yet I actually have something to say about that in a second. But in general, throughout the day, if you feel like you're hungry and you already had a meal, drink some water, right? If you feel like you're hungry and yet you're gonna have dinner in an hour, I think you'll be okay with waiting for dinner. We have this like, but I'm hungry. I need a snack. Or even if you, maybe you make yourself hungry because you're looking at things. I honestly believe, hands down, the number one opportunity that you get to work on is not snacking so much or not eating in the evenings. That is an opportunity that you get to have the awareness on to realize like, oh, I'm overeating and I can overeat good food. And I get to the end of the day, I don't have to fill in my macros or I actually don't need a snack before I go to bed because I just ate dinner. I promise if there's one of the things you have this awareness of, it is the amount of food that you're eating and you don't need a snack all day. Now, please hear my heart on this. I'm not yelling at you and I'm not condemning you. And I'm not like, I'm not going, I'm not like pointing. I talk loud in general and I usually get intense, but I really just had the awareness for myself as well. You guys, I'm a stay at home mom. I work from home. We homeschool our girls like I'm in our home or with our kids or there's, you know, have the opportunity to go reach in the fridge at any point in time. And so it's just an awareness of I don't need to eat just to eat, even if it's meat and cheese, right? Even if it's a, a better snack, even if it's a half an avocado, because I used to say to myself, well, it's keto. I can eat it. Oh, I ordered those new bars. They're keto. I can eat them, right? If you find yourself saying that, what I want you to switch and tell yourself is this. Am I hungry? Am I bored? Am I hungry? Am I emotional? Am I hungry? Am I eating because it's in my eyesight? I like to say out of sight, out of mind. So with that, don't get to the end of your day and eat to fill in your macros. You don't need to eat all day. Be mindful of when you're eating. Your body needs food, right? You, you use food as fuel, but just, just think like, am I bored? 
Do I need a snack? Can I wait till the next meal? I might just be thirsty. I saw some food, so therefore I think that I'm hungry. That's it. I really just wanted to hop on here and I wanted to ask you, what are you having for dinner? Because as you're sharing below, other people can scroll through and get some ideas. So I am very excited to scroll through these comments to get some ideas of what you're having for dinner because I actually want to know what you're having for dinner. It gives me new ideas. I stick to pretty much the same routine. So we have a ton of recipes that we've made. We put them on Keto Mom Secrets, but I have a ton of recipes that I've only made once because we have our favorites. But it is good to venture out. So I want to know what you're having, a simple, fun conversation. Also, how is your intermittent fasting going? So for those of you who have, have dove into it with us, uh, let me know how it's going, how you're feeling. I just said earlier, we talked about hunger. So I woke up this morning and I shook up my ketone, ketones. I drank a little bit of water. I sat down and my stomach actually growled for probably five minutes. But then I grabbed my shaker bottle I drank my ketones because I was like, I really want to continue to intermittent fast. So at any point in time, if you want to know more about fasting in general, or you want to know more about our fasting kit, post fasting in the comments. All right. Or you can send me a message. Sorry. My husband's on the other side of the screen, like always. But I sat in the, I sat in the, in my chair and I was reading because I do that every morning. And for probably five minutes or less, I was like, huh. This is where people get, they wake up in the morning and their body's like, oh, I'm moving, I'm hungry. And yet I drank my ketones and in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I wasn't hungry at all. And I could get myself to the 16 hour mark where I'm eating with an eight, an eight hour window and I had fasted 16 hours and I got to the point where I'm like, awesome, I actually feel good. I got my mind off of the food. I want to intermittent fast. Listen, I'm not a doctor. But all you have to do is Google intermittent fasting benefits and there is incredible, impeccable, amazing, incredible, I already said that, information, education around intermittent fasting and your body and what it's doing. And so all I'm going to do is encourage you to one, go look it up tonight just to read about it. Number two, if you want help with it and you need a tool, ketones are a tool, post fasting in the comments. And we're going to chat because I tell most people to start with our fasting kit because it has our electrolytes, our ketones, the protein that doesn't break your fast. None of it breaks your fast. And then I also have them grab one of our challenge kits to dive into drinking ketones on the weekends. This is the best place to start, the best place to get your mindset around uh, paying attention to not eating because you're bored. It's really not letting food control you. It's letting you control when you eat uh, being mindful of around food and drinking your water. It's really just you being mindful. So I think this is the best place to start. Post fasting down below. Or if you've never tried ketones and you're thinking like, I actually, some of you are like, I don't actually ever intend on fasting. I love to eat breakfast. And again, you can do your own research. But in general, that was me for years. I was like, you don't want me to eat? I will get hangry. Some of you might be thinking that. And it took me a few years to try it. And I told my husband, I feel so good. My husband said the same thing, right, babe? You feel so good? Maybe. You feel like a mighty man? Yeah. yeah. All right. So in general, reach out with any questions that you have. If you want to know more about fasting, do some research. Research. Send me a question. Post fasting down below. Or you can just post trials. Because if all you want to know is about ketones in general and how they turn on your brain, turn off your appetite, give you some energy. If you saw my stories today, I was laughing because all of my dogs were napping at three o'clock. I looked at the clock, three o'clock, and I'm like, oh my goodness, this was me seven and a half years ago. I needed a nap. Not anymore. I call it my mom fuel. It's not just for moms, but I drink it every single day. I don't need a nap. Listen, I have my big muscles hidden until the spring. Uh, ketones preserve muscle. Don't laugh at me. Listen, I'm a CrossFit mom. Uh, Ketones preserve muscle, they help with your appetite, they help with fat loss and focus and so much more. So whether you dive into intermittent fasting or you just trial some ketones, they're a tool. Just like my crock pot is a tool or my air fryer is a tool or my water bottle with a straw is a tool. CrossFit is my tool for working out my accountability. So there's things that I have lined up and set up to help me stay successful, to help me hit my goals. And those are some of those things. So I'm here to help. I hope you guys have an incredible day. 
I look forward to chatting with so many of you. I am going to scroll through the comments and, and check of what you're having for dinner. So please comment below because it gives me ideas. And then I look forward to helping so many of you with intermittent fasting or just trying ketones. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.